Hi, Jeremy the Tall Trainer here, and I want to bring you a watermelon workout. So something just for fun. We did a pumpkin workout a while back, so we're going to try out a watermelon workout. One thing to keep in mind that using a watermelon, pumpkin, or whatever, is basically this is like a med ball workout. So it's the same type of stuff, except it's a little bit unique, a little bit odd. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a, a metabolic strength training circuit. Uh, it's going to be kind of a, a, a lower level. This is not going to be quite as uh, ridiculously complicated. We do this in our, in our boot camp classes. And so uh, we've done this so that it can, it can accommodate a lot of different levels, but a lot of people can really be getting after it during this workout. So behind me, you'll see a, <laughs> a bunch of watermelons. We had a whole bunch more than this, um, but uh, here's what's left over. We'll probably end up donating the rest over to a, a, pan a food pantry or something like that. We've got the watermelon workout here. And so uh, we've, got, we've got three exercises that we're going to be going through, and we're going to go through them over and over and over again as many times as possible. So I've selected my watermelon here. It is the, <laughs> the heaviest one we had. So this one uh, right here is about 27 pounds. Um, average watermelon is going to be somewhere 10 to 15 pounds is where a lot of them uh, seem to reside as we, we weighed them, a bunch of them there. So 10 to 15 pounds, that's going to be good to work with. You're going to, you're going to do really well with that. Be good resistance. Make sure it's something, something good and strong and it makes you work hard. Um, if it's not too heavy, uh, then you might be able to go a little bit faster and you won't need to catch your breath quite as often. So um, what we got here is for the, uh, for the workout, we got our watermelon. We can hold it up in here. We can hold it uh, down in here. We can even kind of hold it across. But the important thing is make sure that we keep our shoulder blades pulled back as we're working with this, so that way we keep good posture in our spine throughout. We don't want to get all hunched over as we're working with this. So, so we got tap backs. So what we're going to do is you're going to hold on to your watermelon, and you're going to tap back, same side, over and over again, 15 times. So weight is over that front leg, and then once you get 15, you'll do 15 the other side. Boom, right in there, nice and quick. And then you've got V-ups. So we're going to get down here and set the watermelon down. We're gonna lay on the floor. And I'm gonna try not to lay on the little microphone thing. Yeah, there we go. And we're crunching up right in here. So we don't wanna move the legs too much or else we start to move the spine too much. So you can pick a spot. If you wanna make it harder, lower your legs out farther and keep them right around there. You're reaching back with that watermelon and then crunching up towards the ceiling to get that work. If you need to make it easier, go higher with the legs and maybe you don't go out quite as far with the reach. So we got the V-ups. The next one, a little bit silly looking, but it gets the heart rate up and helps with footwork a little bit too. So what we're going to do is we're going to do laps around five times around one way. Uh, there's one more. <laughs> and then five times around the other way. So that one, that one will help get the heart rate up pretty good. And then you're back to crushing the legs, work the abs, getting the heart rate up good. You're cycling through those three. Take 10 minutes, 10 minutes, and go through those three exercises, okay? And I'll come back with uh, the next set for you.